Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to cover Windows 11 IoT and give you guys a quick update on the launch date and show the roadmap. My name is Ken Marlin. I'm the Windows Champ. I am the Microsoft Alliance Manager here at Aero Electronics and Microsoft recently gave us the launch date for Windows 11 IoT Enterprise and uh, I wanted to get this video out so you know that date October 5th 2021 that is the official launch date for Windows 11 and not only just Windows 11 but uh, Windows 11 IoT Enterprise also so that is the date that folks have been waiting for to get get their hands on Windows 11 and there will be an IoT Enterprise version of it I'm going to cover that very quickly today the other thing to note is as a distributor, the part numbers and the parts for Windows 11 IoT Enterprise, they are now on the October price sheet. They are available. Um, we can start quoting those here soon. And as far as the media, not quite yet available, but it, uh, the OPK media kits, those should become available on the Software Order Center probably uh, around the same time as the launch date there in October. So if we take a look at the roadmap, one of the most important things that we need to talk about is the fact that this Windows 11 IoT Enterprise that's coming out is not the LTSC. It's not the long-term service channel version. It is the non-LTSC, um, which in previous versions was called semi-annual channel, SAC, but since it's not a semi-annual release, it can't be called that anymore. So for Windows 11 IoT Enterprise, that's just gonna be the name and there will be one new release every year um, starting here um, October 5th, 2021. So you'll see another release in 2022, 2023, 2024, and so on. And each release will get 36 months or three years of support, um, giving you a really good solid timeline where you're not having to sort of guess the dates or figure out which if, if one release is shorter versus another, they're all gonna be 36 months. Um, and I referenced the Microsoft blog where they did indicate that the first release of Windows 11 IoT will be the one that gets 36 months and not 10 years, which would be the LTSC. So let's look at the LTSC version then. Um, there's nothing official out there yet, but Microsoft will be, um, they basically have hinted that it's going to be at least a few years, at least two or three years before they release an LTSC version of Windows 11 IoT Enterprise. Um, and that makes sense because they don't really want to take away the spotlight away from the Windows 10 LTSC 2021 that is about to launch. Um, and that LTSC version will get OEMs, you know, buy for a few more years and uh, grow the, the roadmap properly and not take the spotlight off of that product. So Windows 11 LTSC, not available for a few more years. You can always reach us here at Arrow at msembedded at arrow.com. And with that, I want to thank you guys for watching.